Hi, I am Dr. Sharji and you are watching my YouTube channel. Now here I am showing you congenital blue dot cataract with central nuclear cataract as well. You can see the dots like blue opacities. So we have made the ports and put viscoelastic and now we will perform the capsulorexis with the help of cystitome now capsulorexis is uh, difficult in congenital cataract the anterior capsule is thick fibrotic and uh, its control is uh, a bit uh, difficult uh, as compared to that of uh, adults so here almost two-third of the capsulorexis we have done with cystitome and now with the help of uterata I am trying to complete the rexis so just at the end at six o'clock I have stopped capsulorexis and now with the help of cystitome I am completing the capsulorexis capsulorexis is very important in congenital cataract if you make too much large posterior capsulotomy you can place IOL above the anterior capsulorexis three piece IOL so we have planned not to perform posterior capsulotomy because eight years old kid is cooperative enough uh, to allow post mm, yeah capsulotomy post op so now we have done the hydrodise section and you can see the central white nuclear opacity and surrounding cortex now you can aspirate it uh, but with the help of FACO you can remove it within seconds now we have removed the central nuclear region and now we are removing the cortex so with the help of Fico probe because there are a lot of cortical sheets lying so I am trying to remove those cortical sheets with the help of Fico probe now superior cortical sheets were difficult with Fico so with IA cannula I am trying to dislodge these sheets now make sure your view is clear and you know you are not engaging the capsule in cannula so that you should avoid zonular dehiscence as well as PCR so now we have removed almost all the cortical matter but you can see that round thick bands on the posterior capsule so I am trying to polish the posterior capsule with the cannula but good thing is that these linear opacities are not in the center so even if you leave those because if you try too hard you may rupture the posterior capsule so you can see that's how you do polish the posterior capsule so I have tried my best to remove that linear paracentral opacities plaques on the posterior capsule but they were not completely removed so now we are implanting the 
single piece foldable IOL in the bag post op he will wear uh, hypermetropic glasses uh, for some time and uh, after implantation of IOL I would also give a last try because sometimes uh, the intraocular lens when it rubs with the posterior capsule uh, some of those uh, plaques they are dislodged and then you can easily remove it with IA cannula but uh, still some fibers uh, they were not able to remove uh, so as they are not in the visual axis uh, and as patient is uh, old enough uh, that uh, in children PCO formation is must uh, so we can perform a yeah, capsulotomy you know the patient uh, regarding patient biometry patient uh, IOL on biometry the IOL number was 29 but we implanted 27 we made the patient a little hypermetropic because uh, as he's eight years old so with age uh, he will become emetrope and mild myopic at the end so you should calculate according to the age how much refractive error you desire thank you very much